Hey everybody, I'm going to be teaching you Eden's track Gold on acoustic guitar today. The stylization of this tutorial comes from my cover here, but the key that this song will be taught in is the same as the original, so you can play it with his actual song. Alrighty, so first thing first is the tuning. Um, you're going to want to tune your guitar down a half step, so the strings are going to be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to I'm going to reference them as E, A, D, G, B, E, um, but just know to tune your guitar down a half step. So the whole, almost the entirety of the song uses this chord progression. Um, and it begins with a C sharp mixed with a G sharp. So for this part, you're going to take your index finger and put it on the second fret of the D string. You're going to take your index finger in the right hand and pluck the string on the second fret and slide it up to the fourth. While that's happening, you're going to take the thumb on your right hand and put that on the A string, and you're going to pluck both at the same time and slide your finger up two frets. Now, you can play this chord a different way if you prefer, with your middle finger, ring finger, and index finger, middle finger on the fifth fret of the E string, low E string, ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string, index finger on the fourth fret of the D string, and that's going to sound very similar. And you're plucking this chord with all three fingers. So. Very similar chords. You're going to keep that same position, and you're going to slide it up two frets to the seven, seven, six frets. This is the next chord. This is an E flat mixed with a B flat. So, free fall for now. Free fall. Okay. And then we're going to go up to an F minor 11th. You're going to take your middle finger, put it on the 9th fret of the A string. Take your index finger, put it on the 7th fret of the D string. Take your ring finger and put it on the 9th fret of the G string. Excuse me. Yes, G string. So it's going to sound like this. And then you can add these two open strings here, the B and the E. So it kind of sounds like this. So that completes that little scale. Free fall for now. All right. Free fall for now. And this repeats itself three times over before you go into the next part. So, free fall for now. Desert air will drown you out. All right. And then you're going to go to a B flat minor. So, there's two ways to play this chord. The first is with a bar chord. You can put your index finger over the seventh fret and cover all the strings, and then take your ring finger and your pinky and put them on the ninth fret of the A and D string. So it's going to sound like this. So you pluck just these strings, the E, D, and the G. Or the way that I prefer is with my thumb wrapped over on the seventh fret, your ring finger on the ninth fret, and your index finger on the seventh fret. So just plucking those three strings again. It's the same exact thing, whichever way you prefer. All right, then the next chord is this A flat mixed with an E flat. You're gonna take your same, this is the same structure as the last chords, but up one string. So middle finger on the seventh fret of the A string, ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string, and then take your index finger and put that on the sixth fret of the G string. Looks like this. So, keeping the same structure, slide down one string. So that's going to sound like this. That's seven, seven, six. So it's the same structure, just down one string. So, so let's go through that entirety really, really slow. This is the majority of the song besides the bridge, so let's play that really slow. 
So I'm going to show you both ways to play that intro chord. And that changes a little bit in terms of how many of each you play, but its structure is the same throughout. For the bridge, what I like to do is go up to this F minor 11th again. So that's the 9, 7, 9 with the open strings. And I palm mute it instead of plucking it. So it's going to start with this F minor 11th. Can breathe on your own. It's going to drop down to the Five, five, four on the E, A, D. And then it's going to slide up two frets. And then back down to that C sharp with the G, G sharp on the five, five, four. So really slowly it's going to look like this. F minor 11. C sharp with the G sharp. Two frets. So you're going to repeat that twice. And then to end that part, once you're done with that progression again, you're going to stay on that C sharp with the G sharp. And then slide up two frets again. You're going to go back into the intro. So I'm going to play it singing along so you get the idea of it. Um, if you want, you can breathe on your own. This isn't what I thought, but it's beautiful. Make peace with your mistakes until they turn. to the intro and everybody go run run and everybody go run right so that's the entire song just those two parts repeating um, i hope this made sense i hope it was easy and i hope you guys can learn it if you have any questions um please ask them shoot me a message on instagram facebook anything um and i will answer them for you so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.